so light, it's really really pretty. I really like the one with the malachite and yeah this is a different application for the Kusan which is really nice. Oh look at the malachite LV and then the braided gold handle. Wow that's actually in metal. Yeah in metal. Oh wow. It's quite heavy though. <laughs> so unique. Look at this. It's a play on the petite mile. It's got the accordion side. Okay, so to open it up, it's this lock. This. And then open it up like this. It even comes with a little pouch. So cute. And a shoulder strap. Now the big question is, what is the price? 8 million 380,000 won. So about 8,700 Australian. Speedy 25 with all the roses print. Okay, so Shaw May's here as well. Van Cleef. I think a lot of the stores are closing. Van Cleef and Arpels, Fendi. Ooh, that Fendi first is really cute. Like this lavender color. Peekaboo. Such a pretty color. But the lattice effect. Obviously all the baguettes. I own too many baguettes already. I feel like I need to add a Fendi first. This is very, very me. What do you guys think of this? Do you like this or the purple one? Wow, look at this one with the mink. Very, very different. Look at this shape. Super different as well. A pure sort of canvassy one. Oh, look at the ostrich. I love the ostrich. Okay, they're really doing different things with the handle applications. So cute. And then we have YSL. The Ikare bag, which you know I love. Love the Ikare. And Gucci, but there's no time. Everything's closed. But if you come into this mall, it's just heaps and heaps. As you can see, Alexander McQueen, Armani, but everything is closing. Okay, so there's two sides of the gallery actually. And there's this big Louis Vuitton statue behind me. And I think we're just going to head back to the hotel now. Hey guys, so we are having a late lunch at the moment. We are having Korean barbecue and yeah, we are starving. So we're actually going to get a PCR test. So for everyone that's coming to Korea, 
but it was really weird because when we got here, you just have to take the PCR test within three days of coming here. And we couldn't take it at the airport because it was closed by the time we arrived because it was really late at night. And so we had to take a taxi to one of the medical clinics here. Very well run, but you definitely have to do it. Definitely, definitely make sure you do it. And yeah, so I cannot wait to eat all this yummy food. Getting grilled cheese, the lunch sort of special with beef and everything like that. And all the yummy side dishes. So let me flip the camera around and show you now. So the lunch special contains some carpaccio, some beef tate, I think, some other beef. It's just like this restaurant specializes in beef. I think it's called Wagyu Star. I don't know if it's a chain here or whatever it may be. beautiful is this Suasu store it's like traditional but modern love the aesthetic oh this is the first care activating serum which I just got concentrated ginseng brightening I don't think I got that one but this is iconic that's why I'm so excited to try their range but seriously this store is just beautiful they even have a garden oh so pretty how pretty is this Do you want to do a humbug rental? Absolutely not. Especially the one from the Josen era. See that hat? That pointed hat? I reckon you should wear that. I actually would look pretty cool in that, I think. Do you yeah. know what? I bought one of these for Miss S, like a little one like that. And she grew out of it so quick. I think she only wore it once for culture day or something. So I did wear one of these traditional um, box when I came with my bestie five years ago. But hubby's being a sports court. He doesn't want to dress up. You could dress up in that. How cute. Okay, so even though it is rainy, the taxi driver was so nice. He gave me this umbrella. Hubby and I only had the hotel umbrella. But anyway, we're in Bukchong village. And so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I'm seeing. So this is one of the open houses. I'm guessing this is what the traditional Hanok house looks like. But obviously this is more decorated museum-like. Please do not touch. So people are just sitting here relaxing. Okay, so here is another part. See how all the houses are so traditional? Love it. So it is super humid and we, uh, we just stopped by at a little cafe. It's called Cafe Racer. And because it's so hot, we wanted some of the bingsu which is just like shaved ice. We're having the black sesame bingsu. 
So seriously, all we're doing is eating here, but that's okay because one of the main reasons why Hubby and I wanted to come to Korea was to eat Korean food and desserts and everything. It's nice seeing some of the traditional Hanok houses. People actually do live there. We didn't go all the way up to the top, but yeah, you can definitely see how those houses are pretty old. So just waiting now for our shaved ice to get here. Guys, this is huge. Look. Wow. Hubby, what do you think? It's really good. It's really fluffy. Like, look how fluffy the ice is. Like, look at that. Mm. Look at that. I mean, I, I don't know if you're supposed to totally mix it in. Mm. Look at that. So good. another cafe. This time we're going to have some dessert and this is a tea house in the same area and it is so hot so I've got an iced flowers tea and hubby decided to get, what did you get hubs? The jujube tea. The tea. And this is just a traditional, I think I've had this before, it's like a Korean snack. Can you try one of these? Cool. The sweet tea cake. <laughs> Oh, I've had this before. It's like Malaysians have something very similar. Can I try? It's like glutinous. I try my tea. Stir, stir, stir. Let's try. Nice. It doesn't taste like tea. It's super sweet. Did you know that Korea is like one of the top selfie countries in the world? And they have these things called selfie studios. They're not manned, but you can go in and play to your heart's content. They've got all little props. And then you just go into a photo booth with your little dress ups and take pics away. They've even got a hair dryer. Look at this. Some of the <laughs> hey guys, I know, more food, right? So, we are at a seafood restaurant. They've got like all tanks on the front, so we thought we'd try since it's relatively near our hotel. And we're having the marinated soy crab, and we're also going to have like a big seafood steam up. <laughs> the steamed uh, seafood oh, hasn't come out yet but I'll flip the camera around and show you the marin the soy sauce marinated crab. So this is what I mean. We've got prawns, we've got clams, we've got amalone, we've got squid, we've got little pippies, just a variety of self shellfish. So we're just in the hotel room at the moment, late start again. It's not too bad having a late start because a lot of things don't open till 11 a.m. here, just to let you know, and some of them even later. We got some fish cake and some tepoki. I'm probably butchering that again, but I love these two things. So yeah, just something small. Definitely had to grab my coffee as well. So let's eat. Good afternoon, my loves. So here we are in Bongde. And this is the main sort of strip. So a lot of shops, a lot of food. And then you can hear someone singing. You see a lot of performances, whether it's dancing, whether it's singers just uh, busking here. But yeah, I haven't been to this part before. So... Let's find somewhere to eat. I reckon let's try this. Mit Jukbao. Let's go. So I hope you are enjoying all the food porn here because as I said, we've just been eating non-stop, but then 
This is what we love to do, right, hubs? Okay, so this is all the pig trotters and I'm not even sure how you're supposed to eat this. You're supposed to wrap it up, dipping sauces. They've got the soup with hand-cut noodles. Yeah, you try first. Dip it in a sauce. To have it with a salad. Is it to wrap it up? I don't even know. Mm. Very soft. Okay, so let's go vintage shopping. The first stop is Vintage Salon. So let's go in and check it out. So first up I see some vintage Versace, a little pochette, this little Fendi, some Epi leather LV bags. So yeah, they definitely have got bags, a mixture of... <laughs> yeah, it's like pre-love pieces too. So lots of bags, men's wear and women's wear. Jumpers. Oh, Celine. I want to have a check out some of the Celine. Yeah, so if you're a vintage lover, definitely worth checking out these stores, which I am. Look, some Dior. So how much is this? So the price is 28, 280,000 won, I have no idea. Chanel metallic walk. Ooh, look at all these Fendi jackets. So the sales assistants were saying, yeah, it's definitely all real and everything, but still, you do need to, I still think a couple of things look a bit dubious, but the pricing is not like super cheap, like bags can be like 500, but it is still not too bad. The Fendi so far looks all right. They said to try Churro 101, so Hubby's just getting us a plain cinnamon churro, but they've got all different type of flavors. Like I haven't seen that many churro flavors before. Let's go check it out. So as you can see, they've got coconut, almond, strawberry, dark chocolate, cream cheese. Yeah, just a whole heap. We've got ours, number 38. We just got the plain one, right? Okay, next up, let's check out Vintage Crew. Also downstairs. So here we go. This one definitely has more clothing, I think. See a little Dior tank there. So you can see just rows and rows of clothes, accessories. Some bags. Not a huge amount. Some accessories. Look, if you love clothes, but some definitely cool overalls. Next up is Vintage Santa. Look, I love that there's all buskers everywhere. It's got a little audience there. But anyway, let's head into Vintage Santa. Did your friends just come and hang out? To the bar and to the back. I just wanna touch you, wanna touch you, bar. Okay, this store is bigger. Super cool vintage store. Not necessarily designer. Look at all this tooling work on this vintage leather bags. Leather jackets, so guys and girls. Rows and rows of colorful shirts. Look at this. I like this store layout a lot better. It's a much bigger store. So this is not so much luxury, but I think they have a mix of everything. You know, streetwear, sportswear. So this is a vintage Levi's jacket, very oversized. But what I like about it is that it's got tuck it all. So obviously someone hand painted it, but it's kind of cool. 
What do you think, Hobbs? Oh, it's good. Definitely love the vibe of this store. Look at all the hats. Tons and tons of t-shirts. Does it have prices? So vintage Santi, so 40000 which is like, yeah, $40 for a shirt. So it's not that cheap, but vintage is all the rage here. I was reading that the last few years it tends to be really, really popular as well. Here we go. Some Burberry shirts and that as well. And so this is $159, or well, maybe a touch more. So I'm thinking Sunshine might like this. Very oversized, but I like the pale yellow parachute sort of fabric. Reveal! Check out these jeans. They, they fully sewed a Gucci bag to the jeans. I wonder who will be able to pull. Oh my gosh! I wonder who will be able to pull that off. Seriously, this time round, I'm much preferring from there. It's just so much more busier than Myeongdong. There's always like tons of accessories if you want phone cases. Super, super, super cute. <laughs> I wish they had a version of Chino. Okay, here's another one, Swinging Soul Vintage. So this looks definitely more like clothes. Oh yeah, no, they have a little bit of designer. So more vintage, bomber jackets. Let's see if hubby wants any of the shirts. But yeah, heaps of men's. I really want to see if I can find hubby something. Look at all these floral dresses. So it must be like a mixture. Yeah, lots of patchwork, crochet, tie-dye. Look at the designer bags. Very interesting that they've got a lot more like vintage Vivian Westwood here. Which is kind of cool. Vivian Westwood is definitely known for her tartan prints. Also heaps and heaps of Burberry. Look at this. Heaps and heaps of Burberry. So I picked up a little something from the store. I picked it for hubby, he didn't like it. But I tried it on and I quite liked it. Oh, came across another vintage one. Wow, vintage. This is only 5,000. Hubs, come on, we need to find you something. How about this one? The anchor. Or this one. Oh, do you like this? I love it. No, for me. I like that. Yeah, heaps and heaps of men's. Ooh, look at this denim jacket. Lots of patchwork. Bomber jackets. So lots of vintage dresses. So what I find with this store is the prices are definitely cheaper if you can find something. For the IKEA cap. So no designer in this one. Oh, and the bum bag. Yeah, I'm all decked out. And in the blue shirt. <laughs> this is another Korean boutique. So along this street, it's all got quite a few Korean boutiques actually. Still open, but I'm guessing it'll close soon. I like the back detail on this. I just wish it wasn't sleeveless. What I like about Korean fashion, like I've said, is just it's very loose. Oh, guys, what is what does this remind you of? Oh no, it's not that. It's actually French provincial. I was going to say it's very toit de joy. It is sort of toit de joy. Oh, that reminds me of something.
<laughs> Look at this cute little beaded bag. <laughs> That's cute. Yay, today I'm having a little bit more luck. Let's look at Mark A. Shirts. Okay, so this is a Korean men's store, boutique store. Let's go in and see if there is anything for hubby. So a lot of t-shirts, knitted tops, colors. It's not often that you actually see a dedicated men's store. Not that I've seen it, but yeah. It's got some suits, cardigans. Okay, so those are the pants. And then a knitted shirt, which looks good. Do you like it? I'm going to try the navy. I like the navy. Yeah. Do you like the navy better? I think the medium fit is better. It comes in other colours. So in Korea, tone on tone apparently is all the rage. Hubby is a bit iffy about it because he's not used to it, but I think it's quite nice. This obviously is more, a bit more beigey, cooler, but then this is warmer. But it kind of works in a way. Hubby doesn't like it. Well, you have to feel comfortable. Maybe try the pistachio on. Yay, Hubby got something. Yay. It's night time now and we... Ooh, I like this store too. But before that, let's go check out today's vintage. I see a lot of that. This store is definitely a lot more curated. Chanel jackets, Chanel suits. I wouldn't say it's that cheap because this is still like five, no, 600 for the skirt. Well, it's okay. And then they've got Chanel PR, but everything is wrapped up. Got Lady Dior, caramel, patent, white. So have some jewelry here as well. Here we are upstairs, lots of Burberry, lots of skirts, Versace, Gucci. I've got a very similar one to this. Look at that Moschino. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this cool Dior. Pity that the side is broken though. Very, very funky. I never knew vintage Valentino did Epi Leather. Doesn't that remind you of a Speedy? Yeah, it says Valentino. Saddle, accessories. We are pooped. So we are in a chicken and beer restaurant and we're just looking forward to eating again because we're so tired. Our feet are killing us. But let me flip the camera around now and show you what we're eating. Okay, fried chicken. Let's hear the crunch. So we got the original and then one is seasoned, I think. Looks quite chilly. Juicy? Juicy? Good. All right, my turn. Hi, guys. So we found a place for foot massage, which we really needed. So we uh, just got changed. We're just soaking our feet and then we're going to have a foot massage and then call it for tonight and then head back to the hotel. So I think today has been our favourite day, hasn't I think it? So. Food was good, shopping was good, yeah. sights were good. Hongdae is definitely yeah, a must-do if you are coming to Seoul. It's got just yeah, the perfect mixture of... It's better than Dongdae Moon. <laughs> shopping, lots of cool Korean boutiques, really good food and yeah, just great entertainment. I think the nightlife is probably even better, but... 
we're not sticking around for that we've just been eating so so much okay so we're just signing off for today i've never had a foot massage lying completely flat and it was sort of like more legs and everything which was nice because our legs are sore but oh my goodness can i just say they just dipped our feet literally in the hot wax and they bagged it up lucky hot they did hubby first because i'm telling you the first two dips it like burns your feet i've never ever ever had that before so that was an experience so i think they're just gonna let it soak in the bag maybe for i don't know a few minutes and we'll let, i'll let you know how it goes but that this is a first for us and it hurt <laughs>